With summer upon us and more and more families staying home, finding outdoor activities is becoming a challenge. I have a few do-it-yourself yard games that the whole family can enjoy. First one is called Frisbee or Ball Toss. All you need is either like a hula hoop, a bucket, a basket, and any type of Frisbee or ball. And what you do is you just place these objects around your yard and then take turns tossing the Frisbee or the ball into the bullseye. And the, like the first person to 18 wins. Very simple game. The second one is bowling. All you need are empty water uh, bottles or pop bottles. Uh, the best are two liters. And then some type of ball, like a tennis ball or a soccer ball that you can use as the bowling ball to knock down the pin. For an added treat, when the sun goes down, you can take glow sticks and put them in the bottles. And that way you can have night uh, glow bowl, which is fun. Another activity is called capture the flag. You split up into two teams and you place some type of flag behind your two teams. And then when somebody yells go, the first person from the other team to capture the other team's flag wins. But it's, it's like tag, so if somebody touches you, you're out. And obviously the first person to grab the flag wins. Relay races are really fun. All you need is like at least four activities uh, for the race. So you could do, start out with like a sack race. You can use old pillowcases for sack racing. Uh, and then you can come back doing like walking backwards. You can do uh, balancing eggs on spoons. You can jump rope, you can skip, you can hop but just four different things, and then obviously the first person to cross the finish line wins. Um, we have uh, tic-tac-toe toss. All you need is <clears throat> some pieces of rope to lay out a three by three grid, and then you can cut out X's and O's from like heavy cardboard, or if you don't have that, just use two different objects like tennis balls, golf balls, bean bags, whatever you have laying around. And then you toss them at the grid and the first person who gets three in a row wins. Then you have bean bag ladder toss. All you need is one of those large folding ladders, which almost everybody has. And then you can cut out pieces of cardboard and put points on them, like 30, 10, 40, and tape them to the steps of the ladder. And then you take turns just tossing the bean bag through the steps of the ladder. And then after, let's say, five or six tosses, you count up the points and the most points win. Now a day outside is not complete without some water activities. One of my favorite is called uh, pass or squeeze the sponge. You get a couple buckets and a large sponge, usually the ones that you use for car washing those great big yellow sponges. You, For part of the buckets, you fill with water, and then a ways away, you, you, you place empty buckets. Then when somebody yells go, you take the sponge and you soak it in the wet bucket, and then you run down to the empty bucket and squeeze it out. And you do this for like two or three minutes, and then when somebody yells stop, whoever's filled up their empty bucket the most wins. One, another really good water uh, game is called uh, cup races. All you need is a couple large, long pieces of string, a few solo cups, and water pistols. So what you do is you cut a small hole in the bottom of your solo cup, you put the string through the cup, and then you tie it off to either like two trees, two posts, whatever you have in your backyard. And then what you do is you take your water pistol and you aim it at the inside of the cup and whoever can make the cup go the fastest or if you have multiple ones the person who gets to the end first wins. So whether you use these ideas or google some of your own just get outside and enjoy.